Challenges are pending. Three years ago, Gulf Coast State College created the Public Safety Hall of Fame to recognize deserving first responders from local communities. Today, the hall inducted its second class of honorees. As News 13's Thomas Schultz tells us, all of the inductees distinguished themselves while working to serve the community and to save lives. Eight members of agencies throughout the panhandle were added to the wall at the Gulf Coast State College Public Safety Building. These eight men and women were selected by their peers to be honored in the Public Safety Hall of Fame. Honorees like former Bay County Emergency Management Director Mark Bowen say many people contributed to his successful career. All I can think about is all the people in Bay County and at Gulf Coast State College who have supported me. Um, anything that I was able to accomplish to get my picture on that wall, uh, so many people have a part in that. Gulf Coast President Dr. John Holdnack says the Hall of Fame is a way to honor first responders and provide inspiration to students hoping to join the field. They may have had a long and distinguished career. Some of them may have been killed in the line of duty, uh, but they did it right. They did what it took to be uh, exceptional in their field and that makes them a great role model for our students. Many who were honored responded to the worst events in recent panhandle history like Hurricane Michael and the BP oil spill. It's pretty special for us to be able to bring everybody back together again finally and say okay we've put some pretty horrific events behind us uh, let's recognize those who deserve this kind of recognition. Retired Panama City Beach Fire Chief John Daly says the honor is special because future generations of his family will see it. Being selected uh, really means a lot. You know, I mean, it's something, you know, that's going to he be here per perpetually, you know, for my children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren to be able to see. Four of the honorees were inducted posthumously. Family members and friends were there to remember them and accept their plaques for them. In Southport, Thomas Schultz, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Homeowners